The year is 1989, and Flint, the CEO of ENCOM, shares his adventures in a purely digital universe called The Grid with his son. In his youth, Flynn crafted The Grid, immersing himself in its wonders because he found it captivating. Within it, he encountered a valiant fighter named Tron, who introduced him to extraordinary phenomena such as disc battles and high-speed cycles. Yet with duties awaiting in the tangible world, Flynn devised a clone named Clue to oversee The Grid's operations. United in their efforts, Flynn, Clue, and Tron established a regime where all data, including the system itself, was accessible to everyone. They even stumbled upon an astonishing discovery in the grid, though Flynn chooses to keep its nature a secret from his son, promising to reveal more in time. Later on, media outlets report Flynn's baffling vanishing act. The ENCO on board suggests Flynn's recent widower status might explain his unpredictable actions, though their credibility is questionable given their keen interest in reclaiming the company's helm as Flynn's parents look after his son. Feeling neglected, the son harbors resentment convinced his father has forsaken him. Two decades later, Flynn's son Sam navigates through the nocturnal cityscape to reach the tower in ENCOM headquarters. Employing a device, he bypasses the door security and stealthily enters. Advancing upstairs, he outsmarts a security camera and dashes to the mainframe room. As he initiates another hacking endeavor, unbeknownst to him, an alarm is triggered, alerting a security guard to his presence. Concurrently, a corporate meeting unfolds, introducing a new secure operating system set to launch within hours, a product strategy that includes charging users, much to Alan's dismay. This decision starkly contrasts with Flynn's original vision for ENCOM, yet Alan's objections fall on deaf ears. Amid the meeting, an unexpected interruption occurs. A video of Sam's dog appears on the screen, effectively locking out the system. The ensuing chaos reveals that the software has been leaked online for free, a move that delights Sam. However, his triumph is short-lived as a guard initiates a chase, culminating on the rooftop. Cornered, Sam leaps off, deploying his parachute only to become entangled in a traffic light. After a precarious escape, he lands atop a taxi which inadvertently aids his flight until a fall leads to his apprehension by the police. Following his release on bail, Sam returns to his unconventional home, a converted shipping container. Alan arrives, lauding Sam's latest act of defiance against ENCOM, marking an annual tradition commemorating his father's disappearance. Alan then shares a startling discovery. He received a message from Flynn's long dormant office number, set to his old pager, a device Flynn insisted Alan keep close at all times. Sam's interest wanes, harboring resentment towards his father. Nonetheless, Alan challenges this sentiment, revealing that Flynn had confided in him about a significant breakthrough on the eve of his banishing, hinting at a mystery far greater than any corporate mischief. Alan holds firm to the belief that Flynn's disappearance was not voluntary, suggesting something more sinister at play, but Sam remains skeptical and ultimately asks Alan to leave. Before departing, Alan hands Sam the keys to the arcade, sparking a sense of guilt in Sam as he looks at his dog. Compelled by this feeling, he visits the desolate arcade, where an attempt to play Tron leads to an accidental discovery, a hidden door beneath the game console, revealed by a misplaced coin and strange floor markings. Curiosity drives Sam through the secret passage into a control room dominated by an antiquated computer. Engrossed in his search for answers, Sam unknowingly activates a massive laser apparatus that transforms him into digital form and transports him into the grid, a vast digital universe. Upon arrival, Sam is captivated by the grid's alien beauty but quickly captured by guards and lined up with other detained programs, all indistinguishable from him as a human user. He is then transported by a uniquely designed vehicle to a processing area where each captive's fate is determined, deletion or survival through participation in lethal games. Sam is selected for the games, witnessing the despair of another program who chooses self-destruction over the grim prospects of the arena. Subsequently, Sam is escorted to the armory, where he is equipped with new armor and an identity disc by the Sirens, a group of programs tasked with preparing competitors. One of the Sirens, named Jem, offers Sam a cryptic piece of advice, survive. Following this, he is thrust into the arena to compete in Disc Wars, a perilous game where survival hangs in the balance. Amidst roaring applause from a vast audience, the games unfold under the watchful gaze of the boss and his aide Jarvis from their elevated perch. The commencement of the first duel will see Sam narrowly evading a lethal disc thrown by his adversary. The grim fate of those struck by such discs becomes chillingly clear to Sam, compelling him to engage in combat with his own disc. Despite several unsuccessful attempts, Sam's foe shatters the ground beneath him, nearly leading to his downfall. 
However, Sam's quick reflexes allow him to clamber back up and ingeniously defeat his opponent by destroying the ground at the opportune moment. The intensity escalates with the next challenger, whose ferocity pushes Sam to adopt a more dynamic approach, ultimately catching Jarvis's eye. Sam's agility and strategic thinking propel him through to the final battle against Rinsler, a formidable opponent wielding dual discs. The battle intensifies with gravity ships adding to the chaos, until Rinsler gains the upper hand. The sight of Sam's blood, a clear indication of his humanity, prompts Rinsler to halt the fight and presents Sam to the boss above. Confronted by the boss, Sam is shocked to discover a youthful Flynn, or so it appears. Despite initial disbelief, the painful truth is revealed. This is not Flynn but Klub his father's digital doppelganger. Sam's plea to return home is coldly rejected by Klub. The next challenge thrusts Sam into the light cycle arena, amidst the excitement stirred by Jarvis and the enigmatic presence of a silent observer. Partnered with a team of programs, Sam is pitted against Clue's seasoned riders in a high-velocity battle of light cycles, vehicles powered by pure energy. Despite their valiant efforts, Sam's teammates are systematically overpowered and eliminated by Clue's team, showcasing their superior skill and experience in the digital domain. Thrown from his light cycle amidst the chaos, Sam faces the prospect of a direct confrontation with Clue. However, an unexpected rescue unfolds as a mysterious figure, maneuvering a light runner, intervenes, swiftly dispatching a few adversaries. The pair make their daring escape through a breach in the wall, venturing beyond the grid into the outlands, a terrain where pursuit is hindered by the harsh landscape. Safe from their pursuers, the rescuer reveals herself as Korra, who then leads Sam to a remote hilltop abode. There Sam experiences an emotional reunion with his genuine father, Flint, who greets him with immediate recognition. The warmth of their reconnection is palpable, and Korra introduces Sam to the world Flint has cultivated away from the digital chaos, a world filled with tangible knowledge from board games to classical literature. Over dinner as Sam shares insights into his life outside the grid, his curiosity about his father's disappearance deepens, prompting Flynn to disclose the events that led to his current exile. Flynn recounts his ambitious endeavor alongside Tron and Clue to architect the perfect digital system. This quest led to an unforeseen breakthrough. The emergence of the ISOS, autonomous algorithms with the capacity for evolution without direct human oversight, endowed with biodigital genetics. This discovery, remarkable to Flynn for its potential to unlock the mysteries of the natural world, was deemed a flaw by Clue whose directed to forge a flawless system clashed fundamentally with the unpredictable nature of the ISOS. Clue's response was a ruthless coup, a betrayal that saw Flynn and Tron ambushed and the latter presumably destroyed. As Clue seized control, Flynn was driven into the Outlands, and the Isos fell victim to a massacre known as the Purge. Flynn explains the existence of a portal, a critical escape route from the grid, but one that is bound by a narrow operational window. A window that had closed, trapping Flynn within the digital world, following his capture by Clue. Trapped within the grid, where eight hours equate to merely 30 seconds in the real world, Flynn's 20-year absence translates to a staggering 20,000 years within this digital domain. Upon learning the portal has reopened, Sam is eager to escape alongside his father, but Flynn hesitates, suspecting a trap by Clue to seize his identity disc and manipulate the portal. Sam, frustrated by his father's refusal, retreats in dismay, while Korra reveals a secret item hidden within a book, intended to guide Sam to Zeus, a program rumored to have crucial access within the grid. As Sam ventures out, Flynn reminisces about his past before realizing his son's absence. Determined, he and Korra set out in pursuit. Meanwhile, Sam trades Flynn's iconic light cycle for a cloak to remain incognito, unknowingly drawing attention that leads Clue directly to Flynn's sanctuary, though he finds it deserted. Clue's reflection on his creation and Flynn's promise ignites a furious outburst. Sam's journey leads him to Zuzi's club where amidst revelry, he encounters the enigmatic Zeus. However, their conversation is cut short as Clue's forces, tipped off by Zeus, invade. Sam and Korra valiantly defend themselves until Flynn intervenes, showcasing his formidable powers to ensure their escape, though not without Korra suffering damage. In a perilous turn, Flynn's disc is nearly seized but ultimately lands in Zeus's possession. Flynn's quick thinking saves them from an elevator sabotage, leading them to board a solar sailor bound for the portal. Flynn's ability to heal Korra underscores her unique status as the last surviving ISO. Their journey is marred by Clue's deceitful exchange with Zeus, resulting in the club's destruction. As they navigate away, Flynn shares heartfelt regrets with Sam, and Korra expresses curiosity about the real world. Their relative peace is shattered by the discovery of programs destined for Clue's army and the revelation that Rinsler is the reprogrammed Tron. 
Korra's sacrifice allows Flynn and Sam to plan their next steps. As Flynn secures a light jet, Sam infiltrates Clue's tower, retrieving the disc and confronting Rinsler with Korra's aid. Their daring escape culminates in a reunion and a shared determination to thwart Clue's ambitions, highlighting themes of sacrifice, redemption, and the enduring bond between father and son. Clue, upon returning to the tower, discovers Rinsler's attempt to re-enter and, in response to Jarvis's failures, promptly derezes him. Following this, Clue and his team launch themselves into the air, forming their light jets for a pursuit across the Sea of Simulation. Amidst this aerial chase, Sam mans the jet's turret, firing upon Clue and his squadron, while Korra showcases her adept piloting to evade incoming assaults. A pivotal moment occurs when Rinsler, locking eyes with Flynn, recalls his true allegiance, proclaiming his dedication to the users before sacrificing himself in a collision with Clue's jet, causing Clue to temporarily lose his vehicle. Despite Tron's, Rinsler's valiant effort, Clue quickly recovers and escapes, leading Tron to descend into the sea's depths. The trio, Flynn, Sam, and Korra, finally reach the portal, only to be met by Clue, who blocks their passage and confronts Flynn about his original directives. Flynn's attempt to reason with Clue, explaining the futility of seeking perfection, culminates in Clue's aggressive move towards Flynn. In a desperate bid to protect his father, Sam engages Clue, but a swift intervention by Korra redirects the conflict, leading to Clue seizing what he believes to be Flynn's disc. In a dramatic twist, it's revealed that the disc Clue grasped was actually Korra's, a strategic swap made by Flynn. As Clue attempts to bridge the gap to the portal, Flynn executes a self-sacrificial act, merging with Clue in a final embrace that echoes with the profound impact of their shared history. This fusion triggers a colossal explosion, eradicating the grid and marking Flynn's ultimate sacrifice to ensure his son and Korra's escape. Back in the real world, within the confines of his father's office, Sam secures the essence of the Tron system onto a microchip, symbolically carrying the legacy close to his heart. He reaches out to Alan, affirming the truth behind his earlier beliefs, and expresses his intention to reclaim ENCO, proposing Alan as chairman. The narrative closes on a note of new beginnings as Sam introduces Korra to the wonders of the real world, starting with the simple yet profound experience of witnessing her first sunrise, a moment that symbolizes hope, renewal, and the enduring connection between the digital and physical realms.